Paul Hamilton here. Um, today we're going to look at the Numbers app. So if you're familiar with Excel in Microsoft or Numbers on your laptop, on your MacBook, uh, Numbers is basically the same, spreadsheet, creating your own spreadsheets and so forth. You can see there Numbers, it's got the little graph icon there. So when we actually are looking um, at creating spreadsheets on our iPads using the Numbers app, there are some real benefits from a teacher's perspective of formative assessment and summative assessment, I guess, as well. So um, I've created a little a spreadsheet here of some of the students in my class today, and you can see at the tops of my columns, um, I've basically put what I'm actually assessing. So in this case, it's a science unit. I'm looking at safety procedures. I am looking at testing, reflecting on design, even displaying efforts and so forth. So I've created this document um, basically in um, numbers. And the benefits um, from this are I can take my iPad around and actually by touching on the on the um, cell here, I've got a little slider. I can move it up and down, one being the lowest mark possible, five being um, the highest outcome possible. And you can see here that by doing that, if I put um, each of mine on one, here, this is for Bill, let's just pretend Bill's a student here. You can see over the side here that my grade um, for Bill has changed automatically to A. So if you're familiar with formulas, you can see there's my formula there. Um, it automatically changes the grade for me. So as I go around over the course of the unit and I look at students' work in a science basis and I actually mark them on a one to five scale, which is mandatory here in Australia when I'm assessing, it changes that automatically and I can see my grade change and it doesn't become this big arduous task at the end of my sessions. Once again, being a mobile device, I can go around to my students, I can take videos of them, um, I can watch that back, or I can just watch them as they're actually working in a scientific sense and actually click on my sliders or touch on my sliders, alter the different results, and um, have my grading system basically done um, at the end of the unit or ready to um, import into my reporting system. So. Just wanted to show you and keep you up to date about how we can use different apps on our iPad to probably do what we're normally doing now, but just taking advantage of that mobile aspect of teaching and learning. Thank you.